This is part three of using discovery education videos. The focus here is on organizing and using my content and organizing and using lesson plans that are provided by discovery education, otherwise known as DE. Here we are on the screen. I'll click on my content. You may remember if you watched the previous video that I had bookmarked or added clips to my science uh, folder. I had created the science folder originally and that allows me to quickly access what I need and helps me organize my material. At this point you see that there's nothing letting me know that these are volcano clips. As a matter of fact, only certain ones are volcano clips. Questions for study and discussion, which, judging by the title, I have no idea about. The fire goddess, I remember. Understanding volcanoes, yeah. And this one, well, you know what? It was one I added from very early on, volcano eruption and thunderstorms. If I wanted to look at any of these, I would simply need to click on them, and here I'm back to my main Discovery edu Education uh, navigation screen. I have the video that I can view. I see the organization. I see that I've added three clips to uh, the quick list and then to my content. I can easily remove them. I have options. So if I want to go back, I just click back. Here I am in science. Let's look at two ways, one easy, one hard, for how to add folders and organize stuff. After I've already added my video clips, I'm going to go up here to Add New Folder. I'll click on the Add New Folder icon. The subject will be Science. all grades and the folder name volcanoes I'm going to create a new folder as you can see I have a folder called volcanoes here's the trick questions for study and discussion I know is about volcanoes such as what's the purpose of a volcano it's going to cool the earth etc I'm gonna to have to drag over here and drag it carefully one by one. I click and drag it. Doesn't work. Click and drag over volcanoes. Would you like to move questions for study and discussion to the folder volcanoes? I have a choice, cancel, move, or copy. I'm going to move it. In Volcanoes, questions for study and discussion. Back to Science, questions for study and discussion no longer there. The Fire Goddess. Click, hold, and drag. Would you like to copy the folder Fire Goddess to the folder Social Studies? I go, whoa! Now this is the question of screen resolution and how discovery education works. I go, no, I want to do it to volcanoes. Now I say, ah, volcanoes, yes, I'm going to move it. I have two in here, the fire goddess. I know there are two more that I want to move in. Understanding volcanoes, definitely. Drag it over. Uh, no, not social studies. I want it in volcanoes. Would I like to move it to volcanoes? Yes. And one more volcano eruption and thunderstorms. Would I like to move it to social studies? No. Nah. Again. Volcano eruptions. No, cancel. I'm going to give up. I'm going to say, well, 
is there another way to do this that's a little bit easier? Let's check it out. I'm going to delete this clip. By the way, Crash Bin has a number of things that I've deleted in it. Here I am now with an empty folder. I'll tell you what we're going to do. Let's go back to where we were. I went on the content collection for volcanoes. Notice here, we'll get to this later, it contains teacher guides and even a puzzle. So here we are, Understanding Volcanoes was the one that we used. Let's assume that we were at the beginning and we wanted to add these three items to a quick list. Questions for study and discussion, understanding volcanoes, fire goddess. And let's say that I was even going to add the others, including the activities and answers. I go down here in the bottom right, list options, add to my content. And this is the trick. Click on add to my content. If you have already created a folder, if you can simply add it to the selected folder. Let's go check it out. We go back to My Content, Science, In Science, everything has been added. By doing a little pre-work or planning and creating a folder that will hold everything. You've really shortened the time and you've helped your own organization. Look up here to the menu. Details. Now that's a description, citation, usable. By the way, this is editable and so you can use these in a program such as Movie Maker. Download. Hmm. We'll get back to that in a different movie. Materials a teacher's guide and here you have it a teacher's guide that has everything that we need for on-screen questions and activities program description other activities materials if you want to do hands-on building of types of encyclopedias in class kind of an arts and crafts project discussion questions assessment key vocabulary like fumarole ground deformation plate tectonics so this is extremely valuable. You can use whatever part you want. It's got other links that will take you to National Academy of Sciences or McGrell's fabulous uh, website. You can really expand what you're going to do in this lesson. We close this and here we are ready to teach. Almost, but there's one more step in the next video.